Last night got a little crazy I don't remember Woke up, spun with the pasties My friends say I was tweaked out Passed out on a dirty couch Still in the house It kinda scares me, I don't know so for every time you run, I remember starting off uh, being at Trevor's house, actually. It was a demo song called Every Time I Run, and he had an acoustic version. It was a completely different song, just this acoustic song that he'd working on, and we were going over Fire in the Kitchen and some other songs, but we wanted to write another one, and he's like, hey, check out this little demo idea I had. And he had the hook to it. And then so we started talking about the production and drums and stuff, and I was like, dude, that's dope. Let's, let's do that. And I remember I took his idea, I sent it to Adam. Adam created the, the track. And then I jumped in the car with a Earl Grey tea latte and a blueberry bar from Starbucks. I don't know why I remember that, but uh, sometimes <clears throat> I like to just get out of the house and write, and um, I do that a lot, and just like to drive around in the car and get ideas. I've written a lot of songs in the car, and I parked in front of my old high school. For some reason, I just came here, and I just wanted to rethink things and the thoughts of struggle and, and, and what people go through and drugs and trying to remember different stories of my childhood and, and whatnot and and stuff that I went through or I know friends went through and all of a sudden I just started picturing this dude that was just struggling with them um, addiction and getting drunk and wasted and just that feeling of waking up in the morning and not wanting to be in that place and I don't know where it came from, that whole concept of um, a thought of a song my mom used to sing in church, but it's been so long, I can't remember the words. And I just remember being in church as a kid. And I remember, you know, that would be kind of a place where sometimes I'd hate to go and sometimes I'd like to go. But I always remember my mom singing. I always remember enjoying the singing and just worship time. It was just kind of that happy place of just wanting to reflect. And that's where this, this character and that story is just reflecting on that spot of that 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 place of, of happiness, of joy, to just kind of escape for a second of all the craziness that's going around. And I didn't know that this song was going to touch so many people because I've never had an addiction with drugs or not, but um, we've had a lot of people that just said, hey man, how did you know that, that you're painting the, the, the picture so clear about the pasties and, and just waking up in the morning and just struggle? And because life is a struggle sometimes, and I'm just so glad that this song has been a beacon of hope to people that are running away from their problems instead of dealing with them and uh, I'm just so honored that we get to celebrate the five-year anniversary of the chase and this song and the impact it's had on people and specifically Canada for me because like you know I gotta understand like you know the chase was a real breakout record for me and even in Canada having it on the charts and whatnot uh, in, in the mainstream and, and old friends calling me from high school saying they're hearing it and so it was, it was really wild ride and I'm just again so glad the words and the music has impacted people so if you have heard that song it's impacted you I just want to encourage you let's let's do this movement and let's get it out there and share this video share that song every time with someone this week do me a favor and do that and let's spread the word about the movement of this song and not quitting and not running away not remember the words I promise not to quit and not remember the every words. time you run, every time you hide.